lots of anxieties, you know, anxiety of, uh, you know, future. Exactly. Yes. yes. It's, it's, I think it's, it's a common the, one. It's the common one, yes. Yeah. It covers marriage, family, uh, Work. having <laughs> a job, yes, yeah. working, and also your physical appearance yes. or anything. Aging. Aging, yes. It covers everything. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think uh, lots of people have an anxiety in the world because we are living in a you know, 21st century. Mm. Uh, we are living in a city life, That's right, so yes. we have lots of um, social effects and lots of effects. Mm. Mm. Uh, so how can we avoid our anxiety? You know, that, I know that it's a very, very uh, long process to avoid it. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe you can give some uh, tips for us. Yeah, of course. Um, of course, anxiety is really fear. Yes, I mean it, it's fear of the future, fear of losing our job, fear of getting old. Basically. It's almost one of the common, most common emotions I work Fear of dying. Fear of dying. It's yes, a big one. It's a big one. Yes. And so it's also, I would say, almost the top emotion, if not the top emotion, that people come to me with fear. It and makes you depressive, isn't it? Yes, yes. It's the start of a depression, maybe. Yes, yes, it can be for some people. Yes. And of course, there's no point in worrying about the future, because it doesn't exist yet, and you can never predict. You mm. know, it's, it's like false reality when you think about the future. Mm. You know, and quite often people know that when they're worrying about something and they're fearful about something, um, it doesn't make any difference. Or it doesn't. It's not as bad as it, we always thought it would be, you know, we, and we always know this when we get to this. It's not as bad as I thought, or you know. Um, so really, we know that uh, there's no point in in worrying about things, but we still do it naturally. And basically, it's an energy block. It's an energy problem, and mostly it's connected to the stomach. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because people fear feel fear in their stomach. Here, isn't yeah. it? Stomach? Here. Yes. Um, yes. They get butterflies in their, in their yes. stomach. In fact, this is how... Um, it's a worry, isn't it? It's the worry, worry. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Worry is, is connected with the stomach. And this is the main stomach point that I use, by the way, is under the eye. So With this? Or <laughs> you can tap both things like yes. this. And this will help rebalance the energy of the stomach and it, and it will also help relieve fear. You can combine it with this point here under the collarbone as well. Here? Yes, yes. under the collarbone is a soft point. Okay. Yeah. So uh, this, these two points are generally. How many feet. times? About Does eight times. Matter? Eight times? Yes. yes. One, two, three, four. So I would start off with, with this, like okay. this side of the hand. This is like EFT. Yes. Well, well, it's, yes. it's QEPR, and it, yes. but it, it's more more like TFT than. So EFT. The, the points are here, here, yeah. here right, for here, anxiety. Well, I'd start this one first. Okay. One is in this sequence. Okay. Okay, and this is fear. Okay, so and fear just goes away. And the fear after eight times. No, you tap each, each point eight times. Each point eight, each eight times. Eight times. Yes. You just keep doing it until the till it's gone. The key to this treatment is to feel the feeling, to feel the fear. And oh. as you're thinking about the problem, is to, is to tap this about eight times per point. Keep doing it like this, like this. And yeah. more than likely, in a very short while, it will start to decrease and, and go. We can go with the main course. Yes, very good. <laughs> <laughs> ravioli for both of us. Yes. But you have a Spanish ravioli and yes. I have a ravioli with uh, mushroom and tomatoes. Could you describe us the tips of healthy living and also how can we increase the energy, the life energy, okay. the chi energy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> how do you call it? I don't know. Yes. Well, of course, I mean, carbohydrates do make some people sleepy because for some people it, they're, they're toxins, they're, they're sensitive to wheat, for example. Um, so that's why some people they do better when they eat um, maybe like meat or potatoes or salads and fruit and that kind of thing. Um, for me myself, if I if I eat uh, bread or anything like that, or, uh, it will make me sleepy as well. So it's basically, as you were saying earlier, is to listen to your body. Basically, how do you feel after you eat something? You should keep a food diary, perhaps. And you eat something and then write down, say, 30 minutes later, how do you feel? You know, I feel sleepy or I feel full of energy or I feel really clear in my mind. So notice how you feel and make a note of it and keep a diary, as I said, and you will notice a pattern emerging. You know, every time you eat uh, bread, you feel bloated. 
mm. you know, or you've got some stomach problem or everything else, or you keep having to go to the toilet, you know, and so you'll see a pattern <laughs> arising. So, of course, to be aware of what you're eating and the effect it has on your mind as well as your body is very important because then that will help you, you know, increase your longevity, for, ex for example, and not make you age quite so much because it will, it will show on your face all these food toxins and, and things like that. So that's one of the best things you can do is pay attention to how you feel. That's mm -hmm. very important. It depends on the person, isn't it? Yes. It changes. For you, it's different. For me, it's different. That's right, yeah. I mean, there's no one food is not healthy for everybody. For some people, it's not healthy. Like, I cannot eat salad. I can't eat lettuce or tomato yeah. or cucumber. I love meat a lot. Yeah. But I cannot control it. I have meatballs and, you know, steaks and steak sandwiches. <laughs> I don't feel good. I cannot describe it, but I don't feel good. No. But my body wants it. Right, okay. I mean, there is a difference between what your body wants and listening to your body yes. and a craving. Those are two different things. If you listen to your body and you want something, um, then you can, of course, go and go and eat it. But if you want something and you can't n not do without it, it plays on your mind, then that is a craving. That's, that's different to listen to your body, what your body actually wants. That's like a physical addiction. Yes, yeah? so it could be chocolate or it could be bread or it could be potato chips or it could be absolutely anything. Um, those are the sort of things you should be wary of. You know, listen, listen to your body and recognize the difference between a habit and a craving and what your body actually um, needs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But how can we avoid cravings? That's the question. Easy. Very easy. Yes. Tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can use the, the tapping. Tapping. Yes. Okay. The tapping on the acupressure points. Okay. I mean, as I say, it's all a craving is a feeling in your body. It's a, in fact, it's a disruption, an energetic imbalance in your body. And what the tapping does is brings the body back into balance as you think about that food. So many people come to me for cigarette cravings and chocolate cravings. Yes. So they just do the tapping. I show them the tapping. And it brings their body back into balance. And they no longer want to really? smoke or no longer want to eat chocolate or cake or something perfect. else like that. Uh, it's a perfect dinner. It's a lovely, lovely dinner. Uh, I'm really honored to share your time with you and your lovely ideas and your lovely methods here. I wish that um, everybody's going to find you. Everyone who needs a help in right. this universe can yes. reach you. Thank you. So thank you again for thank sharing you. this program with me. Thank you very much. Private Lounge'un sonuna geldik bugün de. Ee, ben inanılmaz keyifli bir sohbet yaptığımıza inanıyorum hep birlikte. Paul Emery gerçekten e, Türkiye'ye gelmiş çok önemli bir insan. E, bir takım tapping metotları dediği metotlarla e, bir takım e, hastalıklardan, fiziksel e, travmalardan, e, korkularınızdan, fobilerinizden arınmanızı sağlıyor. 15 Mayıs'a kadar kendisi burada olacak. Sonra da yine dünyayı dolaşmaya devam ediyor. E, hepinize Private Launch'tan hoşçakalın diyorum.